All right, I'm going to make my favorite shiitake mushroom recipe. It's a, a recipe that we've made at farmer's markets and it goes over great. So with this recipe, it takes, um, it's, it's pretty easy to do. Um, it's kind of a generic recipe, but it works in so many things. So, um, you know, you can just eat it kind of as an appetizer, uh, put it over your potatoes, put it over your steak, put it over anything. It's kind of like the generic um, uh, butter and garlic recipe um, just something easy to do with mushrooms except that you add a few other things and it just makes it that much better so what we have to work with is your favorite mushroom um, i have here shiitake and then sometimes i'll even throw in a little maitake sometimes i'll throw in um chanterelle or something um, so you know it doesn't seem to really matter what type of mushroom you use on this dish uh, so anyway once you pick out your mushroom um, also a cube of butter, a little bit of wine, actually a quarter cup of wine. Uh, you can add curry or you don't have to because some people don't like it, but about three a quarter of a teaspoon of curry and then sweet base, basil. And the sweet part is important. It makes it taste better. If you, don't, if you just have regular basil, maybe you could throw in a little sugar or something um, as an alternative. But uh, Two teaspoons of sweet basil and a quarter teaspoon of pepper and um, I have the garlic here and in all honesty it's better to have fresher garlic so this is uh, these are garlic tops or uh, or uh, leeks uh, ramps is another name so uh, anyway just anything that kind of has that uh, garlic key taste you can use so the fresher the better we carry these in our farm and we also carry a variety of mushrooms okay so to start out with i have begun to warm my butter that's the first thing to do and then after that uh you know sometimes i'll put my wine in first sometimes i will put in my mushroom and uh just these bigger mushrooms it's a good idea to to cut them up the smaller ones you don't really need to cut up so most of these i'll just be able to put in there if i see a little dirt on it i'll cut off the dirt um, it's up to you if you want to you know cut off the stems or not i usually don't worry about it if you cook it long enough it's good now i personally like to cook the mushrooms really well and that's cooking the stem really well my husband on the other hand he doesn't like to cook it quite as much um, the more you cook it the less intense the flavor is and the flavor just kind of blends into the the sauce or the juices or the juices blend into the mushrooms however you want to look at it the longer you cook okay so the rest of these i'm going to go ahead and cut up a little more About a half a pound of mushrooms for this recipe um, is what the recipe calls for. However, you know, sometimes I put in three quarters of a cup because there's, there's plenty of juice, but you know, the, the more juice you want, <clears throat> the closer to the recipe you want to stick. All right, I'm going to cut up a little maitake. Not a whole lot, but you know, that's, it's a pretty unique flavor. Um, a texture to it. So that's what's neat about mushrooms is there's different textures to each kind of mushroom and um, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this garlic too. Now if you don't have uh, leeks or garlic tops or um, you know the, the, the fresh kind at any rate um, you probably just want to put the garlic in later, you know, after you've put in all your other ingredients. But I want to make sure that these get blended in and cooked really well. So I'm going to cook them side by side along with the mushrooms. And if you find that you don't 
you know, have enough garlic taste to it, you know, after you sample it. You know, maybe you just sprinkle some of the regular garlic on. All right. And I'm going to ask my assistant to get me a stirring spoon. Okay, as that's cooking, the next thing I'm going to go ahead and put in is the wine. And that way the wine juices can, thank you, the wine juices can mix with the butter juice and will absorb into the mushrooms. Okay, again, it's a quarter cup. And this is white. Uh, wine, which is my favorite to use, um, and it's also a little bit sweeter wine, so a white Riesling is a good one, or a Zinfandel. However, you can use you know, really whatever you want. Um, if you're putting the mushrooms over steak or red meat, you might want to use red wine, and, and it's not going to be as sweet, and sometimes that might be something you like, but this is, really is delicious. Adds gives the recipe a sweet flavor. Okay, I'm going to stir that in. And I'm going to turn the oven up a little bit. It was on medium. Now it'll be closer to medium high. Now the pepper. Let's see. First thing you got to do is open it up. Yep. Okay, here we go. So make sure you don't put too much. This happens to be a teaspoon. So we just want a quarter teaspoon in here. So... Estimating is fine though. And also make sure your butter is uh, salted butter. And if it's not salted, um, you can just add salt and that works too. Okay, next I'm going to do curry because I do really like curry. And this curry recipe calls for, oh, we're going to have to take off the top. It calls for uh, three quarters of a teaspoon. And it seems like you always, you know, get somebody who says, I don't like curry. So, so sometimes I'll, you know, lay off of it and maybe just put in a half a teaspoon because I do like it. So it's often a good compromise if you just hold back a hair. And next. We have the sweet basil. I get a big container like this when we cook at the farmer's market because it goes really fast. Two teaspoons. And at this point, we just cook according to taste. And that's how it looks. Can we get a close up? All right, um, this will probably cook for at least another five minutes, maybe as much as 10, but it wouldn't be more than that. You know, if it's too soggy, too cooked, you're probably not going to like it that well, but in my opinion, it needs to be cooked all the way through. And then you just go and you slop it over your potato, over any pasta, over any meat. It takes, tastes great over chicken, um, or just use it as an appetizer. Kids even love it. So if you meet those people that say, I don't like mushrooms. Well, they haven't tried this recipe because most of them actually like mushrooms after they try this recipe. So I hope you give it a shot.